And with that, we welcome you in. I'm Joe Donlan. And I'm Erica Sargent. A South Suburban restaurant is open again after a car came barreling through their front windows yesterday, sending customers and staff scrambling. Now there are some questions about the chain reaction leading up to that dangerous event. And owners tell CBS2's Sarah Maki this is not the first time they've survived something like this. Staff cell phone video shows an open sign on the ground before spinning through a doorway to reveal the full extent of this wreckage. A car pushed through the front window of Shark's Fish and Chicken in Posen. Surveillance video showing the moments before it happened. This car careens over a curb, bounces through the parking lot, pushes that parked family van through the building. Police following just behind two people bail from the first car. I heard it. I didn't know what I was hearing. It was mayhem, so I, I didn't understand what was happening. It was Stacy Carell's car that came through the front facade. He was on his way here to meet his wife, who drove that day. The woman in pink seen running for cover, but hit by debris as she ran. The building's front wall is now boarded up, dents left on the front counter. Staff still finding broken glass hidden in corners. Everything is okay, yeah, everything is okay. Owner Akram Asli says he's thankful it wasn't worse. The guy's here is okay, cashier is okay, the customer, which Every, everybody's okay, everybody going home. That's it, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Because he knows how bad it can be. Showing me photos on his phone of another accident. In June 2019, when an off-duty Chicago police officer ran into the side of their Auburn Gresham location, killing a customer, Marquita Reed. It's a Markham police car in this video. A sergeant telling us they had tried to pull over this car for a traffic violation, but it took off. Telling us officers were not in pursuit, though they now have determined it was a stolen car. Markham police are not saying anything more about the person taken into custody or any charges that might be filed in this case. But Isley says an officer told him that the driver was just 14 years old. In Pose in Saramaki, CBS 2 News. We told you this summer that loved ones of the 2019 car crash victim, Marquita Reed, are still waiting for justice. They told us in June that the officer in their case, Terrence Finley, does not have a trial date and is still employed by CPD.